This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. The NCAA releases its notice of allegations on Thursday on the Louisville basketball program. The university did not get the ultimate punishment, which is a lack of institutional control, but it does receive four level one violations. Level one is the most egregious. Three of those violations go to the University of Louisville. One goes to head basketball coach Rick Patino individually. The accusations state a staff member, in this case, graduate assistant Andre McGee at the time, paid for 14 strip shows, 11 sex acts, and two declined sex acts. All this happened in a University of Louisville dormitory. The violation that goes to Patino is for failure to monitor Andre McGee. I was always in that dormitory for a lot of reasons. We, wa we watched film the night before games there. Occasionally I'd go over and have breakfast. Occasionally I'd visit the guys. But to be perfectly honest, I'm not there from 10 o'clock in the evening to 4 in the morning. I'm just not. I don't expect any coach to be there, assistant coach or not. And of course you can read more on that on WIMT.com. Well, the Kentucky women's basketball program has been so close to breaking through under head coach Matthew Mitchell. And just like in recent years, the goals this year are to compete and win a conference and a national title. Sports director Josh McKinney was in Nashville and has more from SEC Media Days. What head coach Matthew Mitchell has been able to do during his time as head coach of the Kentucky women's basketball program is certainly remarkable, but the issue that is facing the Wildcats this season is getting over the hump in more ways than one. In his nine seasons at Kentucky, Mitchell has led the Wildcats to nine NCAA tournaments, five Sweet 16s, and three Elite Eights. But like the last few years, the goal this year is getting to that elusive Final Four. Well, I think our uh, players are certainly committed um, Everybody that's uh, in the team room now wants to be there. Uh, they love each other. They're going to play as hard as they can for each other. The program has also advanced to seven straight SEC tournament semifinals, finishing runner up on four different occasions. The program has not won a conference title since 1982. I think it's shaping up to be uh, probably a pretty typical SEC year. Really great teams, uh, very good coaches great athletes, great players, um, intense uh, competition. But these Wildcats, despite all of the off-court issues during the offseason, believe they can get the job done and move the UK program even further on the national scale. I feel like as long as we all stay on the same page, keep a great attitude and a great effort, and just keep clicking, then, you know, the sky's the limit. Kentucky has hosted the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament in each of the last three years, and a fourth straight year of playing at home to open tournament play would go a long way with helping the Wildcats get to the national semifinals. Reporting in downtown Nashville from SEC Basketball Media Days, Josh McKinney, WYMT Mountain Sports. All right, thank you, Josh. Now, if you want to watch the men tonight, or at least later tonight, Rupp Arena is where you want to be for the annual blue white game. They'll take the court at seven o'clock and if you're not going to be there, well, you can watch it live on the SCC network. Now the football cats ready to get back on the field Saturday night. Lots of time to prepare for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Seems like forever ago when they beat the Vanderbilt Commodores. Yes, this win about two weeks old. Kentucky has had time to really work on specific details of the game and that includes watching film over and over and over but also implementing what they learned in the film room. Yeah, yes sir. Um, on the bye, we, we took a lot a lot of time on film, but now that we're out on the field now more, it, we, we, know, we know a lot more now. We're more mentally prepared for them. Going back and watching the film, um, there are some times where I, I get to my first, second, and third read, um, and then maybe I'm not checking the ball down. Um, I'll, I'll look, see, go through my reads and my progressions, um, but I'll just take off. I won't check the ball down to the running back who's wide open. And I'll get maybe three or four yards, but get it down to a running back and he'll get 10, 20. Um, so that, that's one thing we've been working on for sure at practice here. So. Well, the Bulldogs have won the last seven meetings versus the Wildcats, Kentucky and Mississippi State. Saturday night inside Commonwealth Stadium. I personally cannot wait to get there. Excited to cover the game. Should be an electric crowd in Lexington. 7.30 kickoff, by the way, on the SEC Network if 
you're not going to be there. Come join me on the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime again later tonight. We will have coverage from the blue-white game as the men take the court. Our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week with Harlan County at Perry Central. You can watch that, by the way, on this TV and WYMT.com. 7.30 kickoff right there. And, of course, we'll have much, much more on the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime. That's sports, and we'll be back.